Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica J. And on this channel, we do home decor videos and lifestyle videos. So if that interests you in any way, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. My name over there is my Jessica J. Or you can click the link down below. Okay, so today I have a home decor update for you guys. And before we get started, let me leave a little bit of a disclaimer, a little bit of an FYI. So we moved into this home October of 2019. It is a new build and it's our first home. We pretty much came here with not much and then the pieces that we did have, I did sell it or give it away. So we pretty much are starting from ground zero here. And it takes time to decorate and some pieces our investment pieces and not only that we are a family of five so i need to consider that and make sure things are good quality and not gonna break down in like a few months so first let's talk about my coffee table i finally got a coffee table in you guys it was on back order for a little while but i i, I feel like the coffee table situation was a little bit harder um to find when you're measuring out your space and you need a certain size and a certain shape and a certain budget it definitely narrows down your search and you really have to look everywhere and trust me i looked everywhere so if you guys remember my top coffee tables of 2021 i talked a lot about the trending ones and two of my absolute favorite coffee tables was the luca round coffee table by alice lane and you guys oh my gosh it's so beautiful i love that hand carved detail and the little legs on that that definitely is an investment piece it is made of wood and then they put a plaster over it to make it look more like um, a concrete look which i love this one was unfortunately not the right size i needed something smaller i actually did reach out to the company and they are actually coming out with different versions of this coffee table so we'll have to keep our eyes open and, and see what they come out with because that is just that's perfection right there. Okay, and then the second one that I absolutely love, you guys, oh, it's so good, is of course the Restoration Hardware Marble Plinth Round Coffee Table. They have the size that I actually need to, which, y'all, oh, the price. It's a little, it's, it's definitely an investment piece. So I basically took both of those styles, merged them together, and then found my coffee table. And it's within budget, it's the right size, and I absolutely love it. So let's go over to my living room and I'll show you guys which one I ended up going with. So this is the coffee table I ended up going with. This is the Ivory Cap Cement Coffee Table by CB2. And what I really love about CB2 is they actually highlight their designers that they work with. So this one was created by a company called Mermelado a Studio and they're a company based in Barcelona. The company was founded by three individuals who have done their training all over Europe in places like Milan and London. So they have a lot of European influences in their designs. So I really love that. I had this table for about almost four weeks now and I wanted to hold on to it and kind of test it out before I really talked about it just because the reviews were a little mixed. Um, when you think of cement or concrete, you think indestructible. And I think with the white one, it's not indestructible at all. It's a little bit more fragile than the gray concrete. You do have to maintain a wax coating on this coffee table. When I first got it, I immediately put a clear wax over it. I did pour some water after putting the wax on it and it just kind of like beat it up. It didn't soak into the concrete at all. I am absolutely in love with it. It's very modern, but I love it. It's simple and I love how whatever I put on it, it just pops. As you guys can see, I kind of keep it simple. I love using the rule of three when decorating this coffee table. And I definitely want to do a video on different ways to decorate a round coffee table. Um, I feel like I haven't seen a lot of those videos for a round coffee table. So that would be really helpful. I think I'm in love with it. I find it easy to clean. I've even dropped. Let me show you guys. I had this wood cutter and I was standing up. And I accidentally dropped this on the uh, table and I thought it was going to crack. I thought it was going to be over with, but it didn't crack or anything. So that's a plus. Just want to put that out there just in case you guys are wondering. But yeah, I just grab a microfiber cloth and I dust it that way. And if anything needs to be cleaned up, I just grab that magic eraser. And it's really like simple to clean. I love it. I am absolutely in love with it. I know it's white and you guys are thinking white on white. You guys know I like neutral palette, 
and the very contrasting between black and white, monochromatic, I love that look. But I think that once I figure out what I'm doing over here, which is gonna be a pedestal of some sort, and either a bus or another vase or even a plant will look really, really good over there. It's a very narrow space and I feel like that would be the only thing that would look perfect um, in this area. I've tried a tree, tree is a little bit too big. And um, I think once we get the carpet in, it's really, or the rug, I think it's really going to warm up the space so much more and feel so much cozier. Also, you guys noticed that I did take off the lamps and I did move the table. When I originally put up the curtains, my idea was just to add some softness to the area. I really didn't plan on really using the curtains. Call me crazy, but I just put it up to soften the area. And I actually like using the curtains. So in order for me to use the curtains, I have to push up the couch and everything up a little bit further to use it. And I just wasn't willing to lose any more square footage so I did move it and that's the only reason why I moved it. Okay, the next piece I wanna talk about is my accent chair. I ended up getting it from CB2 and if you guys are in the Southern California area, they actually have a warehouse and you can actually go there and save some money on shipping. Pick up your item, they'll help you load it in your truck. I felt so accomplished, I went there, they helped me load it in the truck, I secured it down, came home, was able to bring it inside and it was a complete Dead. I think it maybe was a return item. I don't know what happened with their quality control, but I called them immediately and they ended up sending me a new one, picking up the old one free of charge. And it was actually available to ship right away. And I'm looking on the website, it still is. So that's a plus. If you guys have ordered anything lately, you know everything is on back order and some items are on back order for like crazy amounts of time, like six months plus. All right. Enough of me talking, let me show you guys what I ended up going with. I ended up going with the Q Carbon chair. This is also from CB2, and surprisingly, this is also created by, or designed by, Marmalado at Studio. It's so comfortable, and it's very deep. So the little um, table you guys see right next to it, that is actually from my bedroom. I didn't finish the seating area, so I just stuck it out here for now. It's not gonna stay because I think that it's just a little too matchy-matchy next to the chair. So eventually, it's gonna go back in the room, and I'm gonna get something else. Um, for that area. I also added a couple of new pillows. I got this taupey brown one from Pottery Barn and I love it. And I also picked up this linen lumbar pillow and it has this really cute detail around the border. It's leather. I feel like if edgy and sophisticated, soft and airy merged together, that would be the pillow and I love that. So that is everything. I will continue with the home decor updates. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.